Hello and welcome to the very first lecture of this complete Node.js course. In this course, you will learn all about Node.js from beginners to advanced level concepts. We are going to create a full-fledged web application and implement web APIs which can be consumed by a wide variety of applications using Node.js as the backend. Let's start this course by having a brief overview of Node.js and let's try to answer some of the basic questions related to Node.js. For example, what is Node.js and why do we need it? What is the advantage of using Node.js over other technologies? And where should we use Node.js and where not? So let's answer these questions in this lecture. The official definition of Node.js says that Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Google's open source V8 engine. In this definition, there are two points to highlight. The first point is that Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment. And the second point is it uses Google's V8 engine. Now, you must have used JavaScript before and you have probably used it inside a browser. Any browser natively understands HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And no matter if you write vanilla JavaScript or some JavaScript framework like React or Angular code, that's all just JavaScript that gets executed inside a browser by the browser. So in this case, the browser is then the JavaScript runtime because here browser provides all the tools and libraries to execute and run JavaScript code. For example, when we use JavaScript in browser, browser also provides us some APIs like fetch API or get element by ID function, query selector function or even console.log function. So we are able to use these APIs and functions in our JavaScript code when we run JavaScript in the browser because browser is the one which provides these functions and APIs and we make use of these functions and APIs from our JavaScript code. Now before 2009, JavaScript was only capable of running inside a browser. There was no way to run a JavaScript program outside of the browser environment. And in every browser, there is a JavaScript engine which is responsible for executing the JavaScript code. JavaScript engine is a tool which is required by browsers to execute and run JavaScript code. Every browser has their own JavaScript engine. For example, Firefox uses SpiderMonkey. Microsoft Edge uses Chakra. In the same way, the JavaScript engine of Google Chrome is called as V8 engine. So this V8 engine is the one which is responsible for executing the JavaScript program in the Chrome browser. So before 2009, it was not possible to execute a JavaScript program outside of the browser. But in 2009, a programmer named as Ryan Dahl, the creator of Node.js came out with a brilliant idea. He thought it would be great to execute JavaScript outside of the browser. And to make this possible, he took Google's V8 engine, which is the fastest JavaScript engine out there and embedded it inside a C++ program and he called it as Node.js. So similar to a browser, Node.js is a runtime environment for executing JavaScript code and it contains a JavaScript engine which can execute a JavaScript code and that JavaScript engine is the V8 engine. And that's why we say Node.js is a JavaScript runtime which is built on Google's V8 JavaScript engine. And Node.js also has certain APIs which provides an environment for the JavaScript code in Node.js. And these APIs are different from the APIs we have in the browser. So in the browser, the browser provides us some APIs and functions. In the same way, Node.js also provides us some APIs, some modules. And we can use these modules in our Node.js program. So in short, Node.js is a program that includes the V8 JavaScript engine and some additional APIs that gives us capability to run JavaScript outside of the browser. And now that we have JavaScript outside of the browser in a kind of standalone environment, which is Node.js, we can do so many things with JavaScript, which were completely impossible before. For example, accessing the file system or better network capabilities are now possible with Node.js. And all these factors together gives us the perfect condition for using Node.js as a server side language. Meaning now we can finally use JavaScript on the server side of web development in order to build fast, highly scalable network application for powering the backend of a website or web application. All right, let's now take a look at why Node.js is such a good fit for backend development and where we should use it and where we should not use Node.js. The reason why Node applications are so fast and so scalable is because Node.js is a single threaded and based on event driven non blocking IO model, which makes Node.js very lightweight and efficient. Now, this might sound a bit confusing, but don't worry, 
you will understand what a non-blocking and event-driven architecture is as you progress in this course. Node.js is perfect for building fast and scalable data-intensive applications. This makes Node.js a perfect fit for building all kinds of applications. For example, we can build an API with database behind it using Node.js. And we are going to do that in this course. We are going to build an API using Node.js and we are going to use MongoDB in the backend as a database. And using the API which we will create, we will fetch data from the MongoDB database, we will insert records in the MongoDB database, we will update and delete records from the database, etc. And not just only APIs, we can build all sorts of applications with Node.js. For example, we can build streaming applications like YouTube or Netflix, real-time chat apps or even server-side web applications where the entire content is simply generated right on the server. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. Now there is also some type of apps that we should not build with Node.js. The apps which need very heavy server-side processing like heavy image manipulation or video conversion or file compression or anything like that, we should not build such type of apps with Node.js. And you will learn why that is when we will dive deeper into how Node.js works. Node.js was simply not developed for these use cases. Although there are solutions for dealing with them, but we should always use the right tool for dealing with the task at hand. For such apps, we should use other technologies like PHP or Python. Another reason why you should learn Node.js is many top companies like Netflix, Uber, PayPal, eBay, etc. They have already started using Node.js. And this proves that this technology is stable enough to be used in production. The main advantage of using Node.js is that with Node.js, since we are using JavaScript as the programming language, we can use the same technology across entire stack. That means we can use JavaScript for both front-end and back-end development. And this is a lot easier for you and your team. First of all, you don't have to learn a new programming language for building your back-end application and you don't have to keep switching back and forth between languages. This will make the entire building process faster and more efficient. Another great reason for using Node.js is that there is a huge library of open source packages available for everyone for free. These packages are available in NPM and you have probably heard of it or even used it already. We are going to use some of the open source packages in this course. And finally, there is also a huge active community of Node.js developers out there. They are constantly improving Node.js and helping beginners like you. And so you can really rely on the technology for all your projects in years to come. So this was a very brief intro and overview of Node.js. In upcoming lectures, you will learn how to create our own web server using Node.js and how to send responses from this server. In the next lecture, let's install Node.js on our local development machine and let's build our very first Node application.